and you can see that we're only a couple of marks off of B if we get this right and have had 100% so far. So pause the video now and have a go. Okay, with this question, there is quite a complicated way of doing it where you uh, figure out the fact that the depth of the orange juice is 8, so it's roughly around there. And work out that, uh, the, work out the volume of the orange juice, so it would be 6 times 10 times 8. And when it's put on its side, the new height will be 10 and uh, so therefore the base would be 6 times 20 um, so you do uh, the 480 which is the volume of these ones divided by 6 times 20 which is the new base there is a much much easier method for doing this uh, which I'm going to go through for my answer the height before is, oh, well, the height now is 20 centimeters when it's on its side the height becomes 10 centimeters so if I write that down, uh, so 20 and then divided by the new height which is 10 gives the answer of 2. So it's basically halved in height. Now if the orange juice was 8 centimeters up before then all I need to do is divide the 8 by 2 which gives me 4 which is actually the answer the answer is 4 so if the height of the cartons halved then the height of the orange juice will halve and that's uh, I've struggled to try and put some working out down because I don't want to just write the answer of 4 but that's the answer <laughs> so let's have a look at the mark scheme uh, let's just clear that um, and if you have a look at here, this is basically what I've done um, is just to notice that it's halved therefore I just halve the 8 which gives me 4 so if you wrote down that way and got the answer of 4 then you'd get full marks this is uh, where they've worked out the volume of the orange juice and then done the 480 divided by the 6 times the 20 uh, which would also give you the answer of 4 I think my method's probably a little bit easier.